The passing of a late former president has already taken a political twist. We just called on the immediate family to offer our condolences uh, from where we were directed to sign a book of condolence which has been opened in his honor at the Accra International Conference Center. Strangely, as our flag bearer and his team reached there, we were told that uh, the book has been taken away by government and the place has been locked up and that the book will only be available on Monday. Then we ask ourselves, who is mourning with whom? Well, if they think that the state events takes precedence, it doesn't stop NDC from honoring our fallen hero. General Secretary Johnson Isidun Ketia is also unhappy about content of a statement released by government on the passing of Flight Lieutenant Rawlings. But we're disappointed that the president's statement did not make any mention of his role as the founder of the National Democratic Congress, as we have been doing. Any time uh, they lose a statesman from the other side, it was strange for us um, to read the statement of His Excellency, the President, offering condolences to the bereaved family and everybody concerned without a mere mention of the National Democratic Congress. When he knew, or he should know, that the only person who has had his name mentioned in our Constitution is His Excellency Flight Lieutenant Jerry John Rawlings. The party has meanwhile opened a book of condolence at its Adabraka office while announcing a vigil slated for Sunday, November 15, to begin a series of activities to celebrate the late founder. We are not waiting for a seven-day commemoration or anything. The celebration of our founder begins immediately. And that on Sunday, there will be a vigil from 5 p.m. till midnight at the Kwame Nkrumah Circle, where we usually held our uh, vigils to commemorate the 31st December night. The best way to uh, honor the legacy of President Jerry John Rawlings is to preach his principles of probity and accountability, and to make sure that this nation is not governed by people who practice corruption, nepotism, and the other bad fellows. In his tribute, Mr. Mahama wrote, Boss, it is difficult to come to terms with your shocking exit, but you've always been unconventional and acted on your own terms. The rest of us, your comrades, are left to mourn you. But beyond mourning your departure, we have a duty and responsibility to ensure that your person and your principles receive their deserved place in the history of Ghana. Leader of a revolution, founder of the Fourth Republic and midwife of the longest period of democratic governance in history, and nobody can take that away. Fare thee well, boss. Also at the party office to sign the book of condolence were vice presidential candidate Professor Nana Jane Opokwajimang, Chairman Samuel Fusuampofu, Ni Adekoka, Professor Joshua Alabi, among others. Yes, we go, get us, we come, but the revolution has come to stay. Revo, revo, revolution has a long way to go, but has come to stay.